Stacks of movies line the walls of Professor Tom Beale's office at Hamilton Hall as his final semester at Iowa State nears an end following nearly four decades of teaching journalism students. To understand Tom, you really have to understand his love for movies um, and, and love for the industry, but also uh, uh, his role over the last 20 or 30 years around here as being someone who is commenting on movies. Beale has been involved in movies nearly all of his life. The longtime professor started as a janitor at a movie theater when he was a teenager and eventually became theater manager. He also spent time doing movie reviews for several decades thereafter before teaching students broadcasting and film history. Uh, I lucked out. I had a chance to teach a class about movies, so I was kind of filling in, and it became a regular part of my teaching schedule. And so uh, here I am in my last class at Iowa State teaching a class about movies, which I love. Since arriving at Iowa State in 1975, Beale is connected with hundreds of students. Well, I don't have a family, and uh, so um, there are certain people over the years that I've identified with for whatever reason we bonded. While some professors commonly use red pens to correct mistakes, through the years, Beale chose a more positive solution, instead using green to grade his papers. So by marking in green, I could, I could correct uh, people's errors and not make it sound like I was, you know, clobbering them on the side of the head with a two by four. Um, was a little softer in terms of, yes, noting the errors, but also really wanting to encourage people. And I think I learned a lot from Tom. Now, after 38 years as a professor, 31 of which have been in this office, Beale will soon have to sort through his belongings. That includes nearly 2,500 movies and many memories. You know, you can look at the office and say, Yes, there's a lot of stuff in there, but really what that stuff is, it's, it's memories. After he submits his final grades in May, Beale plans to remain in Ames and spend time coin collecting and doing community radio. Of course, his love for movies won't soon disappear. I've got hundreds of DVDs I want to watch. I'm not going to sit in a dark room day after day and go blind, however. I mean, I'll mix it up. I like to go out and see people and do things. For iState News, with Alex Halstead, I'm Dylan Mons.